I mean, we finally back. I'm feeling good and relaxed. Let me get, let me give another swig of my beer real quick. You know. Mm. I can't be drinking a straw on camera. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my beers down here too. Man, man we finally back. It's 2020. We had a little meeting. We came back. We recoup. We good. We strategize how we gonna execute this year. And we finally, Damn. we finally back. Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> what up, Plus Podcast, bro? man? Welcome back. Finally, 2020. I'm your boy, Jay Alamo, here with my boy. D. Hello. What up, D? What up? It's your boy, B. Ralph Dollars, whatever you want to call <laughs> me. Ralph Dollars. Yeah. Ralph yeah. Dollars. I'm here. I like Ralph Dollars. I'm here, man. 2020, <laughs> episode one. Uh, a lot of things to cover. Uh, we, we we need to figure out when we go do our uh 2019 album reviews because i know uh we had our 2018 album review yeah yeah last year so i think it's almost time for us to do our 2019 um probably in the next couple weeks here yeah maybe maybe next episode yeah we need a plan for that um i want to give some quick shout outs before we get into our first music video um definitely we are live here at the basement um definitely check out it's definitely not my room no more it ain't <laughs> it definitely it ain't definitely ain't Holliman's room either no more <laughs> so we finally here downtown san antonio right above the river walk um uh, at the basement so you ever downtown you ever in san antonio you got one place to go and that's yeah. the basement every weekend man, yeah, every man weekend. we appreciate y'all for letting us use y'all you know facility to yeah to, to do this so yeah we yeah. really definitely shout out to the basement for allowing us for uh using this facility as well um some other quick shout outs that i do have here uh big brothers barbershop uh if you're over there in that 1604 calabria area alamo ranch area looking <laughs> for a good barber uh go to king cuts but definitely check out uh big brothers <laughs> barbershop uh definitely a good uh barbershop if you are looking for a local one um, the second shout out is going to be for Duck Pond Films. Um, definitely doing a lot of great work um, out there for the kids, giving them the opportunity to showcase their talent uh, on the new digital platform almost. Um, you know, so if you're looking for your kid to have a highlight, uh, real made, definitely check out Duck Pond Films. Uh, that's definitely uh, my plug into uh, local sports so, okay doing uh, like little mixtapes and stuff oh yeah definitely. okay that's like what's one okay <laughs> and okay. one mixtape uh, you said you had a you yeah had i a want shout to shout out, out um pio's bakery p-a-o bakery on instagram um she make like uh treats uh cheesecake it, really anything you want um she can make and it's not it's, it's pretty cheap and it tastes good too. So All right. shout out her. And you All could right. vouch for that. Huh? Yeah, I yeah, can vouch for that. Okay. You, okay. Hey, I think she needs I to bring some. some she needs to bring some cheesecake. Yeah, yeah we, definitely we, need some yeah, samples. Yeah, I'll bring samples. some up here next time. Right. 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 We're going to have a taste testing uh, yeah. <laughs> thing going on here. Uh, but definitely, if you want your business shouted out on the Plug Podcast, uh, definitely let us know. We will definitely shout you out. Uh, local artists, definitely let us know. You're trying to get a platform for music videos as well. Uh, we got you. Um, first video 2020 uh, this video is taking you to 2055 in this music video but this video is from worldwide called San Antonio Northeast this this already has 12,000 views on it so definitely check this music video out this is definitely like a short film uh, to get the full video click the link in the description and uh, check this video out let's go Nigga, I'm so 2-1-0 I should have my own street Preferably off that 
three, find someone that now feast. Yeah. Show you right, you from the tone. I grew up with niggas like you, can folk. I know your type. Get it in from Camelot to the Glen. Sunrise hit 10. Jungle, even the man of folk, I blend in like right in. I'm good from X and 7 to the Heights. New Brunfels to that yeah. Preston on the late night. Oh, dodging them black and whites. Not trying to get oh, Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we are definitely on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, anywhere you can find a podcast, we are there. I hope your earbuds and your eyes enjoyed that last track uh, from Worldwide. Definitely check them out in the comments there. Let, it, let them know what you think about that music video. So definitely appreciate the artists sending over the videos. Um, so speaking of hip-hop music. We're going to get right into the albums. Let's get right into um, the latest release. First quarter. First quarter we had... Um, Money bag, yo. Okay. Uh, that probably was to me probably was the biggest album that dropped so far this year. Yeah. Uh, we gonna jump right to money bag. We can. We bag? can. You want? Okay. So you got the other albums already in the clip. So yeah. You, so, okay. So we so, gonna jump in money bag. Money bag album was good. I mean, it's really good. Um, he got some bangers on there that's riding in the clubs right now. Um, yeah, you're right about that. Honestly, to me, I think since he had this whole split with uh, yeah, girl, uh -huh, yeah, okay. I think this kind of like helped put him back lie. in his bag. To be oh, honest, man. he done jump right to um another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, that yeah, too. I saw yeah. that. He I he saw owned that. it though. He definitely yeah. owned it. <laughs> There's a video on um, yeah. Instagram. He was on Instagram Live or something, and uh, these two dudes. He was on this Instagram Live with these two dudes, and they was like, yeah. "Bro, you done had." Two of the biggest asses in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what he liked, though. <laughs> yeah, he got it tight, right? <laughs> hey, for real. Hey, money bag. Yeah, Shout out to money bag. Yeah. <laughs> but now, the album right. I like it. I like yeah, it a lot. I like um, it, though. I don't think he yeah. ever made nothing like a bad project before. Nah. But. Uh, nah. But it, you, you, he's made passable projects before. I'm not afraid to say that. There's some projects <laughs> where you're probably like, I'll grab one or two. I feel like this one probably has more probably like three to four maybe even a five where you could probably nah, like, he definitely got a couple of hits on yeah, here yeah, yeah where you could sure. kind of really like oh man i could play that i could play that i could play that yeah, yeah. so i, I think uh i think that album is doing pretty good i think next week we should give him a good rating because uh, i mean i listened to it probably like three times man i worked out to that shit. yeah, yeah that was I right it a lot. Yeah. yeah it was good it was good um uh, what else what we also had well, Eminem album dropped. Yeah, shout out, dropped. To, shout out to all the Eminem. It was a surprise the album. Eminem. Nobody knew about it. Yeah, Murder <laughs> By. What? I mean, you had to I, know something was coming with that whole beef with Nick Cannon yeah, and all yeah. that. But. I was ready to kill this yeah. album. Like, I could not wait. Like, <laughs> I could not wait. But like, you ready to send it, bro, send it so right back. Eminem, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, it yeah. actually wasn't that bad. No, nah, really? nah. no. Uh, I listened it, to probably one through six so far. Uh, yeah, I, I already got, got through it. It's, it's not yeah. a bad album, man. I like the one with Young M.A. That one's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, plain. he got, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I might have got Young M.A., he got Ed Sharon very on different. there. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a good album. Um, I still don't like his cadence, the way he raps. Oh, yeah. But when you actually listen yeah, to the words and what he's same. talking about. Yeah, he's still rapping. So you think he's still relevant then for what you listen to? Like This, out of the last three or four albums he put out since, um, all that kamikaze and all yeah, that yeah, it's way yeah. better than all that okay trust me. okay but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's still i'm not kind of like old slim yeah. oh it's okay. more like slim shady it's kind of like okay. yeah he, okay. like, he was talking he's, about he's trying killing like, his stepdad and all yeah. that stuff yeah. like, oh yeah. he's back in there yeah, okay yeah he's back in that dark okay. closet yeah <laughs> crazy ass closet but i do think he yeah, he gotta solid. stop rapping i mean i just think when you reach level eminem you shouldn't rap to to please people, I still think he's trying to rap just to. Nah, he's definitely past that level. I yeah, mean, like I, like Ho, when he put out something, he's not trying to. I think nah. Eminem's gonna keep putting out albums and people accept him again because a lot yeah. of people don't accept him anymore. Yeah, like, well, that's the it's, thing. It's, it's kind of like irrelevancy, and that's what he kind of said in one of his songs. He was all like, uh, "Some of the people are not respecting my longevity in the game," and he threw Ho's name in there, like like you know we've been doing this, but you only kind of seeing what did you do for me lately. So and he's like, man, nah, I'm still like, I heard him trying to spit in one. Yeah, but when you think yeah, of whole whole beef with like Nas and and not Nick Cannon, people can rap. You, but you beef not with only Nick that, but when <laughs> Jay and Nas like they they put out music like every so often. Eminem yeah. like he literally he'll put out something he'll be ghost for like ten years. You won't yeah. even hear from him. Yeah. yeah. So I can understand that people yeah. not respect because you ain't putting out no music like that. So. Yeah. I think, but I think this album was a step in the um, in the right direction. direction. So. Yeah, it's I, I, it's, it's pretty solid. I, I, you know, uh, speaking of like rappers, not like 
um, wearing a rap, like, you know, not respecting stuff. What do y'all think about that Andre 3K? Did y'all hear about Andre 3K, like, not – he was like, he ain't interested in making like music. Or well, I heard like, about it years ago, but I know he said no, it again. No, he just, recently. yeah, he just said it again recently where he was like, um, I ain't interested in like making music. I don't have the vibe for it right now. I'm like, and I really don't understand that because anytime he, I know he don't get on tracks often, but when he does, yeah. he, he kills kill it every, every time. time. Yeah. And it seems yeah. like he put his all into it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I agree. But I guess he just, I don't know. Yeah. They always been kind of. Yeah, <laughs> different. Mysterious. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, that's, that's just true. the way. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. Andre 2000 definitely. Yeah. He could be. I mean, he already like top 15 to me. Yeah. He could be top five if he. But that's normally how script. the best artists are. They kind of have that like kind of weird. weird. Side. Yeah. yeah. So but yeah. I feel like you should want to put in like honestly like uh, I'm not gonna say like I'm just like this great DJ, but honestly I w- I would have no reason not to maybe do an event or something or maybe like spin for somebody like hey man would you want to come out and spin I'm like ah man let me go out here and you know play some music or go on tour or yeah. whatever like they're not even and the difference between music and, and like DJ music you don't have to go out you don't have to yeah. leave your house to put out music yeah sure. you can go in your basement put yeah. out some songs literally yeah. you don't have to go on tour you don't yeah. have to you still can spend time with your exactly. family so it's not really yeah Yep. But like when you don't want to put out music, it's just your yeah. choice. I, just I mean, it's, put it's out passion. Pro- well, I can't even say that because, like you said, like yeah. every track that he still get on, he it's kill it. Nice. So, but yeah. I, I don't know. I really, I really don't know yeah. to be honest. So now, definitely Eminem's album. Let us know what you think in the comments over that Eminem comment. I was uh, surprised. That you album said it was good though. Uh, yeah, so good. get in the comments right I, there for I us. Couldn't wait to get. <laughs> 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 What we got? Uh, is that the other was, album? Uh, Stunner, Stunner Four Vegas came out. Okay. Four Speaking of Stunner Four Vegas, he was here in San Antonio at the Aztec Theater. Uh, some of these photos you see in are shot by some of my homies. So definitely uh, follow them on Instagram. So check out some of these pictures right now. But yeah, speaking of Stunner Four Vegas, he just left San Antonio. Yeah. But how the album sounding? Album's okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I give it a pass, but yeah. of course, I feel like he's still around that whole. The baby coat. Yeah, he, the, the it's best got, song got the whole sound and yeah. Yeah, the best songs had the baby or little baby. Mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. both was on there. Uh, his best songs had features. Yeah, on yeah. yeah so. so what 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 is it that uh, you think Stunner missing to um, probably lyrics? Lyrics. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean he yeah. he was rapping, but he just not. It's more like yelling. Like yeah. I feel like he got He's potential. Like, he yeah. just need to find his own way. Yeah, I get yeah. it. They from the same cap. He signed the baby and all that, but. Yeah. He has the potential to like just be a bigger artist, but he just I get it, the baby's yeah. hot right now, so he's yeah. still but trying just, to like ride that wave. But just but, like like Dolphin Key Glock. They they kinda similar, but yeah. But you could tell they got, got a little different. Right, right. You know? yeah. He got a little more more his yeah. shit a little yeah, more yeah, smoother little, than yeah. Yeah, smooth. it just gotta yeah, find his, yeah, yeah, just gotta yeah. find his pocket. But, like But he's very yeah. young. I think Stunner Four Vegas like nineteen. Nah, he's real young. Yeah, though. so okay. So the lyrics is just But I like it though. I mean it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's not album. Nah. So no, nah, definitely um Sunday Four Vegas shout out. Uh definitely next time you're in San Antonio, let's get the plug podcast and the baby billion dollar baby ENT over here. Oh, but I seen that uh track you posted of uh Janine. Uh, Janae Echo? Yeah, Janae, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Sean? Yeah, it's oh, it just hurt. crazy. What, yeah. yes. what you think? Bro, <laughs> I mean I know that's that's you. I'm in love with her, man. <laughs> <laughs> she can't do no wrong in my eyes. So. Yeah. Wow. But now nah, it's good. I can't wait till this album comes. Not out. even that Big Sean tattoo is wrong. I thought that was pretty wrong. Nah, I was mad. Yeah, I was mad me, too. But yeah. but it would have been okay if it was you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have been happy lie. if it was me. Yeah, that's no. But then I can't wait till her album comes. I got to be coming soon. Yeah. She posted the um album the, the artwork uh like I think yesterday or a couple of days ago too. So. Yeah. So is that first song like her sing- single? That's a single. Of it? Oh, if it's if. But it that's something, something you can't like, play on the radio. Yeah. Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> can we play at the basement? On you can play it at the basement. You can't play, play it on the radio. All right. I can't All right. wait, man. But nah, she's definitely going. I was surprised. I was like, okay. So many people. She started this whole like. Like vibe, smooth vibe. Smooth. Yeah. yeah like, nah, she did. Yeah. 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 So many people still in her style. I'm like, you gotta yeah. get back. You gotta get back on it, man. Yeah. Now she. Talk so. about that. She, she honestly the first did. Or George, George. She did start that whole genre yeah. of that. Yeah, that's true. So. She's another myst- uh, mystique person. Yeah. Like you don't know shit about. I'm interested to see what this quiet. album gonna put out. Yeah. So definitely, 
Um, any other albums we missing? If we missing some albums, get in that comments. Let us know. We 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 gonna be doing a watch party on this, so oh. we gonna be in the comments too, chatting with y'all. And also the Roddy Rich. I know it was last year, but we have not been on here since Roddy Rich yeah, dropped. That's true. But that's definitely that's gotta be one of the top that's five true. albums of last year. Yeah, I mean it's number it's number two on that Billboard. Al- that album is gonna ride for a long time. That yeah, it got, it got man. I I still haven't brought in high fashion like i really want to mm. like man that i mean i know i'm like maybe that's the summer because everyone's on the box right now and everybody's well, yeah, just yeah. turning up on the box but yeah. i'm like yo high fashion high is fashion. bro oh, there's so many bangers on there he man. got a lot to be honest I, yeah. that hasn't been hit yet so i think that's gonna be more spring break when high fashion kind of roll in and um what is it no guidance kind of start dying down yeah. a little yeah. bit more that one's gonna pick up, and I'm like, dang, that's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, that's he's very talented, one. man. Yeah. He's gonna be around hey, he's for a like, long time. He man. He's like 19, 20, 21. I don't know how old he is, oh, man. but I know he, um, he like he been messing with Nip for a while. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I saw an he's from with, Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw an interview where he's talking about yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of put him on. Yeah. Because his first track everybody heard was yeah. the uh, uh, Racks in the Middle. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So uh, Nipsey kind of put him on, but. That's what's up. Yeah, he'll be around for a while. All right, man. Um, man, so I think that we got to discuss this a little bit later, but, man, whose year is it about to be in 2020? Let's not go there right now, but let's get into this next music video. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight future. Straight future. <laughs> uh, get into this music video. Hey, they Definitely support the artist. The, the uh, link's in the comment, I mean, in the description. Uh, check it out. Yeah. Betrayed me, let me in the car. I tried to make you hurt. I gave you all of me. Then you took it out from me. I gave you my heart and soul. You betrayed me, let me in the car. Why not? It's worth it, bro. Yeah, why not? It's beautiful. Are y'all gonna go out and shit? Y'all just go out and Well, chill? If, we, if we gotta come back the same night, okay. Oh. And they trying to go out there to eat, like eat different restaurants. I guess. I mean, so Mike you know, does it like every two months. He'll go he like do. he went to Memphis just to get some wings. Yeah. He went to I Colorado. I mean, it's only a couple hour flight and yeah. get there and. And then when you around. go there, you know you three hours behind. So yeah. You get there. You leave here at twelve. You get yeah, there at you're twelve. Yeah. So you That's like Vegas. I love it when I go yeah. to Vegas. I'm like, oh man, yeah. we on a whole nother level. You yeah. get to Vegas. You leave here at ten in the morning. Yeah. You get to Vegas is. 10, 11 yeah. oh, in the morning. Yeah, you yeah. Start, there you go. Go to your hotel. You go. Get your bag checked in. It's 2 o'clock. You already on the strip. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around with your shades that on. Night, that night, you already like, damn, bro. I'm I'm done with Vegas. No, nah, this is the first day. You just started. <laughs> you just started. You just started. Dream. Dream, right. bro. It's a wrap. You're, you're falling in love. You're never going to leave Vegas. Well, that, we might have to do that from a bachelor party or something. We got to, we, or we might need to be DJing there, like, um, we going to, 2021. We're going to March, Vegas. That ain't shit. Y'all don't tell nobody nothing. Bro, you, All right. You ain't in the group. Nope, I'm not in the group. <laughs> All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Welcome back from that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back from that music video, man. These these bloopers. guys, man. Yeah. <laughs> these guys, man. Definitely get into the uh, comments. Let us know what you think about that music video. Definitely share and like if you definitely uh like that music video uh welcome back uh what's our next topic D. Howard? What i we guess we're gonna get right into um sports all right yeah, so got? um damn i was not prepared for this but i'm about to get ready <laughs> uh so we had the national the uh football national championship last week monday mm-hmm. lsu won oh yeah 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 um, charlotte lsu that's shout a lot shout of, out LSU, LSU, man. that's yeah. a lot of, that's a lot to talk about it's been a already since they won one since yeah. nick saban was there yeah, yeah. yeah. um True. but from that only thing everybody talking about is Odell Beckham. His yes, <laughs> the, he was handing out he money. High, he was handing out money, and he was out to just yeah. He took the um, I ain't going Odell. You know how the, the band leader be having a little megaphone? Uh huh. He took the megaphone. He he was stirring. He was slurring over his words. Yeah, he's drunk. He was drunk. He, something was wrong with him. You seen drunk. what he did? He the posted a car alone. No, you seen what he did? He posted a car alone. He was like posting, trying to act like he's dunking on car alone. Oh, wow. He was kind of pushing him. Yeah, Carmelo yeah, yeah. Was like, what the? 
And in the locker room, he slapped the. Uh, yeah, yeah. He said it was that. a cop, but the cop. some people say it was, it was like security. a security guard. Yeah, he slapped like him on the ass, like good game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and they press, I guess, so, uh, they press charges. So yeah, he facing um, NC, he in trouble with NCAA for the money thing right now, because you know these dudes ain't getting paid. Nah. We're gonna talk thing. about that. We need to talk about that. And he's facing uh, charges for the. Honestly, the, the me, I think. What's his name? The quarterback. He messed up because Joe Burrow. Yeah, because the school said it was fake, and all he did had to do was say it was fake too when he did his little like after game interview. Yeah, but because money. he was like, no, the money was real. I'm yeah. not a part of the the team anymore because obviously that was the last game. He was like, nah, it's it, real. it wasn't the other dude's last game either, though. I thought it was the the dude that he gave him the money. It wasn't his last game. I think he's going. He's to a senior. Draft. Yeah, he was a but senior. But Joe Burrow's not. That wasn't his last game because yeah. he's only a sophomore. No, but he said that though. In I, his, I, I his last game of the season, he has to play next year. I think. No, 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 no. no Joe he's Burrow's out. Not. He's yeah, out. Yeah, he's so a, sport, and because uh, he, Cincinnati's is going to pick him up for the first pick. Yeah, Lawrence got to play again. Lawrence is going to play again. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think that's what kind of like blew it up. Him yeah, doing he that. He got to get rich regardless. So he yeah. Yeah. You, you don't say that. I, I honestly didn't think anything of it because honestly it was the that's literally the end of the season. Like that's it. Like the season's over. Like but it was when it hit zero though. zero, I know. But it was zero zero. I mean the, the the clock's off. Now this they may still have the LSU stuff on, but but it's not like that's it's it though. It's not like the NFL. It's they're still yeah. in school. They still go. Um, to, they still go to. They still go to LSU. True. true. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, where we at? Yeah, course, true. A lot of them dudes will never go to class again. Yeah, they're no, done. But they, technically, yeah. they're still enrolled into college, and you can't take money. Money from. I just think he went about it the wrong way. I uh, get it, uh, I, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you could do that. Him Harvard, being an alumni there, he definitely probably had some bets on that game, so he was oh, making he money off that, that game. game. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, he could have paid. I just think he did it the wrong way. I he mean, he should have did it like did it like he should right do it, there. He should do it like the real alumni do it with like, hey man, you, we so, a car pop up. Or, do y'all think hey, he has a problem with attention? Oh. I think he's here. We go. So here we go. Here we go. I don't think go. he cares about winning football games. I just think he just yeah. No, I, he wants to be a celebrity. I agree with you because right after that, I was seeing him like posting like videos because uh, all of the uh do well at least like three of the stars from that team that's like going to drive Chase Jefferson and somebody else. He got their uh game jersey from that night. Like they gave him that jersey, so obviously yeah, he wanted to like show everybody like yeah, I was there, I got it, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, he wants some type of I, attention. A so. lot of people think he cares more about the fame and the celebrity more than than. I mean, football. yeah, he'll nah, be Johnny, man. man. Uh, I think it just comes with the persona of the receiver position. I feel like we I mean, ain't never seen the receiver just be just ultimately Calvin humble. Calvin Johnson was humble. Oh, One yeah. of the best to ever do it. Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, okay, seen. okay. It's so, different now. Okay, man. you got – but, but you different got, But now. you got your prima donnas. Let's not do that to me. <laughs> you know, like we you got know, your T.O., Randy Malls. You got Beckham. You got Brown now. Antonio Brown is out going crazy. Like, and Odell Beckham is going to Odell Beckham in the same situation. In the same kind of court. I hope not. Right. I hope yeah, not. Antonio yeah, Brown – was the best receiver in football, and he had can't find a job. Did y'all see that? Uh, I didn't get to watch the full thing about the video. His, the video, him cussing out his baby mama. mama. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. Caught the police, I and mean, then he was cussing, cussing in front of him. Yeah, yeah cussing <laughs> the kids were running into the car with the police and stuff. He was calling him cracker, but it was a, a black police officer. Mm. <laughs> so, right. so, so what do you think his future is for the NFL? We talked about Odell wanting attention. Uh, he won't. He's not going. He's not going to make done. it back. Oh, Antonio Brown. He's done. Nah, yeah, he he won't touch I football. I think he had a chance. Yeah. Until yeah. Right now. Yeah, he's done. You don't think no one's gonna give him a shot? Mm-hmm. Nah. Not yeah. not this year. No. no. Period. He's done. He uh, just kind of made it. He's away. out of the if, NFL. If people like Kaepernick and Ray uh, Rice, if, if those they didn't type, make it back in, they didn't make it back. And the NFL is showing you like you fuck, you mess up, you fuck up. You not You're coming done. back here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, Patriots tried to give him another chance. He should have fixed it right then. But it couldn't because of the media attention that started. Uh, yeah, because they was kind of already yeah. digging in. They the already game. on him. Yeah. yeah, they were already on him at That's that point. Yeah. So it was already over. Yeah, the story was written before he even walked through the door. Yeah, he done, man. Dang. All right. Um. So 
bringing it circle back around to the uh, sports category, make sure y'all get into the comments. Who's the best prima donna wide receiver of all time? <laughs> T.O. I'm going to probably say T.O., man. Oh, T.O., definitely. Yeah. They was running him out of every yeah. team he was at. Yeah, everywhere. Every I don't time. know, man. I'll yeah. put Ocho in there, too. Ooh, yeah. Ocho was, but Ocho oh, yeah. was Ocho was a prima donna, but he was a good – his teammates liked him. Yeah. He played for one team mostly his whole career. Uh, mostly, yeah, yeah. I think he only played for the yeah, Bengals. Uh, Bengals. I think he ever played for the Yeah, he played for the yeah. Patriots. Oh, yeah, he did play for the he Patriots. He played for the Patriots. They all, all go to the Patriots. Yeah, they all <laughs> That's what started. <laughs> Randy Moss. That's where it started. <laughs> yeah, Randy Moss. <laughs> Terrell Owens. Uh-oh. Oh, that's true. That's true. Hey, there's we need, something we there. Need to, we need to that's get some jerseys. Yeah, we, need yeah, to, we need to get some Patriot jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hernandez. <laughs> oh! This nigga's on fire. We didn't have that on to talk about. Oh, man, man, God damn. But don't Patriots. tell me. I heard, but I ain't seen yeah, it. I, I, I haven't it. seen I, it yet. I heard about it. I ain't seen it. It's a good documentary, man. man. <laughs> I think a lot of it's fake, but it's a good real? documentary. For real? Man. This is, y'all uh, y'all on fire. Y'all well, that's well, that's that's Who's the best Patriots receiver of all, all time? <laughs> <laughs> Deion Branch. Deion Branch was their best. I think he is their best yeah. of all time. Man. That's all right. Crazy. Did you want to touch anything else on uh, sports before we uh, yeah, jump into um, it? Also, I wanted to talk about the um, – what was it? I had something. Oh, the yeah, WNBA. Tony Romo. Oh, Tony Romo. Yeah. So Tony Romo yeah, yeah, yeah. has been offered to be in, being paid the highest sports analyst uh, in football right now. Well, in sports. In sports. Uh, right now, That's, of course, that, that includes the people that are on first take every day. Yeah. And all these other shows every day. Oh, wow. Right now he signed with CBS. Yeah. He just did the um, football game earlier. The, yep. Um, oh, well, the right. Titans and – who was it? Chiefs. The Chiefs, yeah. Titans and Chiefs games. Uh, so, yeah. right now he's being offered between 12 to $14 million to uh, host ESPN. I mean, oh, the ESPN, wow. which is Monday Night Football. Wow. Which is making the highest pay. I think right now currently the highest pay is Stephen A. And he was, he just signed this contract this year too. I can well, see that. Last year, I can whatever. See that. And that's because Stephen A is on TV all the time, every single day. And he has first take. Yeah. First take is like, that. Every, every like, show. come on. Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows Skip Stephen Bayless. A. I wonder yeah. how much Skip Bayless make. I'm pretty sure he's it's up close. There. He's he up there. He close. definitely got to be up there. Be yeah. Close. Yeah. But close. so I know Stephen A. just signed his big contract, and, and I I still don't think that's enough. I don't think eight million dollars is enough for Stephen A. Smith. Not when you. Nah, he he covers sport. everything too. He covers yeah, every sport, yeah. all yeah. sports, basketball, yeah. football, basketball. and boxing. Yeah, he talks about baseball a little bit sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and you should just give him dedicated to basketball and really have him have a basketball show just like TNT yeah. has theirs. Now let ESPN have theirs with Stephen A. Oh yeah, show. with yeah. Shaq. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. the funniest yeah. sports yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one's really that that one's hilarious. I love, <laughs> I love that one, man. Shaq and Charles. Kenny yeah. And, yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's, <laughs> man. Charles Barkley, they be going at it all the time. Yeah. They be they be dead ass. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a good it's a good little <laughs> yeah friendship rivalry. Yeah, heck yeah. Frenemies. Yeah. But now I'm I'm I I'm happy for Tony Romo because. Do you think? I guess the ultimate question is: it, it, Do you think he deserves that much? I, I, I that's think, why I want to push our conversation. I do too. think when he's talking about the game of football, he's, he's the best at it. When he's talking about what's about to happen, he's what they're doing, what they're going to do, and yeah. break it down for the average consumer. Yeah, so true. like somebody who doesn't watch sports every day. Yeah, he does they break it down. They understand what Tony Romo was, yeah. about, was talking yeah. about. I that think is he's the true. Best at it. That is. And true. if you're the best at what you do, then why not? That's definitely true. Cause he, when I watch it, and he's like. Predicting was about to happen. I'm like, oh, what the heck just that like just happened? So yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's true. That's, That's, true. True. That's so, true. Yeah. Why not? Wow. I think he deserves it. So nah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I I find it. I only thing I'm gonna say about it, I find it difficult because he's not gonna be doing it every day. I mean, he's going to be doing exactly. it That's on and, and yep. exactly. And that's something like, how is that even like? Man, you got Monday through Friday where you tuning in to him talking about something different every, every day. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can true. plan for my sermon on Monday. Like, yeah. and okay, the come on. Is, I'm not going to turn on the TV on Monday Night Football because Tony Romo is talking. Yeah, exactly. But I'm going to turn on first take because Tony Romo is talking. Come on, and you so don't know what leverage. he talk about. You just want to listen because, yeah. you yeah. know, he covering all sports. So, exactly. yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. But can't blame Tony Romo. Go get your money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely mm-hmm. go, get go get your bag. Yeah, definitely, definitely can't. Ain't can. mad at you at all. Definitely can't. And then the um, last topic I had about sports is the WNBA. So yep. they had a big day last week where um, 
They got pay increases. Yep. Um, I think the highest paid player on each WNBA team was getting paid one hundred twenty five thousand, which is which is crazy. Yeah. You definitely. got. <laughs> yeah. You got dentists that make more money than that. Yeah. Um, and then of course they only get paid for why they're playing the sport, which yeah. WNBA is only like two months long, three months, something. Yeah. Long. Uh, so it went up to two fifty, which doubled their salary. So that's that's good. good. That's really good. Um, they also get maternity leave because they yep. wasn't getting paid when they get pregnant. That's crazy. So the that's highest paid is only getting paid two fifty k. Yeah, Dang, that's, that's still crazy. that's still. Yeah. I mean, but they, their season's only in the summer, right? The season's they, only summer. Yeah, and they offered to uh, start uh, giving them year round jobs. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, do the right year. That could be like you training. I know it sounds bad, but when you you got to think about how much money they make. They're not making NBA type well, money. Well, yeah, that's true. Because at the end yet. of the day, it's about the not business. Yet. And they're not filling seats like the NBA. So yeah, they, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. women's soccer. They they keep winning, but they get mad because they get paid way yeah, less than true. the men. Yeah. But you got to take good. that money from what you're bringing in. It's going to take a time. It's going to take a little yeah. bit more time. Uh, Eventually, they'll be millionaires. They're, probably, they're, they're about probably like 10 years out. I think about 10 years out because I just think about marketing and advertising and the money. I mean, it's getting Cause there. It's getting there because, you know, WNBA, this is the first time it was on NBA 2K. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That's the first year. This is yeah. the first time. So you got to think about what they're about to implement with them. Now you're going to have girls and, you're like, oh, I know who that is. I know who that is. And they'll be more familiar, but it's still, I think they still progress. I think they, they're, I can't believe their benefits were like that. I feel that's like horrible. that's terrible. And they were sharing, um, they that's were sharing terrible. the same hotel rooms. On the road. Why in the NBA, every man gets their own room. And then they have all them sponsors on their jerseys. I'm thinking at least they got, they go get so all the sponsor yeah, money. Yeah. You got AT&T and Verizon on the front. Your jersey ain't even on there. It's just Verizon, you know, That's like crazy. soccer. And so, I mean. I don't think I haven't even seen anybody yeah. wearing a WNBA jersey. I'm going to have to yeah. get one. We got to yeah. represent. We got to represent for the ladies. Um, but definitely get in the comments. You got something to say about the sports, any aspect. Uh, McGregor just won. McGregor and Mayweather, we're not oh, yeah, getting there. We're not getting there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> next Sunday. <laughs> ne- ne- next next weekend, we'll get into more of that. Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll see what y'all say. Get in them comments. Let us know what we need to cover about this Mayweather and McGregor uh, fight coming up in 2020. Is that real? Let's get into this music video. Uh, link in the description. Red Wood, star studded boy. Feaser, what up? Rapper, trapper, 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 trapper. They wanna be like a rapper, wanna be like a trapper. Trapper, I need my money faster. They wanna be like a rapper, wanna be like a trapper. Trapper, I need my money faster. You work the hard, work the hard. You a working man? I'm nine to five on the block. I'm what you putting in? Invested in myself with the business is. We gon' run it up. Run it up. What the ticket is? So be keep tonight. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm He's already, already here. We well, already here. Yeah. I might as well took a little spin and DJed here on Sunday night at the basement. And so if you ever down here on a Sunday night, we might we might turn this into a gangster party after a while. <laughs> yeah. We already heard you good. Uh, set up. Day, like Monday is off. Like oh, tomorrow. yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. So now nah, we might have to start spending a lot more. But, hey, if you even here on Friday, Saturday, anytime, uh, definitely check out The Basement uh, as well. Hope you enjoyed that music video. Definitely subscribe to that artist. Check out some more of their music definitely artists send your stuff over and we will get some exclusive interviews as well coming up here soon on the podcast so definitely be on the watch out on that um so all in all um thanks everyone for tuning in to the plug podcast what we want to just wrap up with is just some of the things that we're looking forward to in um 2020 so if you haven't already subscribed you better subscribe now um, on on all platforms apple music spotify Anywhere you can find a, a podcast, we're going to be there. Um, did you want to hit anything there? Nah, I mean, I'm just excited for this year. Um, I think this this year is going to – it's already uh, big for podcasts. Podcasts are becoming more popular. Yep, yep. But I think we got a lot of uh, material, and I think um, this is going to be a good year for us. It's going to yep. be a good year for 
San Antonio. For y'all. You yeah. Know? Uh, yep. For the people who listen to this. So, yep. absolutely. Um, all, as always, if y'all have any suggestions or anything, uh, comments yep. or, or whatever, we don't, we, don't, we don't get mad about constructive criticism. Yep. We're just trying to get better. Yep. And, yep. Uh, be so the best we can be. So. Yeah, definitely let us know. Um, if you're interested, sponsors as well. You got a mom and pop shot. Holler at us. We'll definitely uh, mention you and get you some more, hopefully, business as we try to get more business. Uh, anything you're looking forward to in particular this year, B? Honestly, just uh, probably just trying to help, like, any of your the local artists, anybody yeah. in artistry, just period, just trying to get a name for yourself. That's what we're here for, basically. Yeah. to help you and to help ourselves just kind of just put that out there yeah. if you're looking for uh avenue to kind of like get your stuff out there i mean this is the perfect place for it so yeah. just see us at the plug man yeah absolutely definitely we actually next week we're going to be premiering a music video shot by the plug podcast <laughs> everyone's going to be involved um it's going to be called that poll by ctg so next sunday we will be premiering that video so y'all be prepared for that that's going to be yeah the song is hard already yeah, so i yeah, know the video yeah, gonna be yeah, crazy yeah so we might have to play that full length there yeah. um so we got music videos we we definitely gonna start getting our merchandise as you can see we ain't wearing our own stuff yet but, but we got some it's stuff. on the we way it's stuff. definitely on we the got way some stuff sure. coming uh graphic designers holler at us as well we, we can like you said constructive feedback and hey, help us out a little bit we'll help you um anything else we got music videos clothing podcasts guests a lot more to come for the plug podcast uh it's been a pleasure definitely if you haven't get on facebook now i know you're watching now get on there and like our page share our page the plug podcast the plug podcast it's been your boy jay alamo the Hello. Ralph Dollar. Hey, catch y'all <laughs> boys next Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Later. Yeah.